Hi second graders, today we are in module three, lesson six, deep dive. We have another vocabulary deep dive today where we're going to talk more about word relationships. The last one we did, I believe, was with segregation and integration. Today we're gonna to talk about how these words are related. We have ask, tell, command, demand, request, order, and force. You will need your notebook today and a pencil. In your Martin Luther King Jr. book, we have a picture on page 20. I'm going to show you that picture so we can take a look at it. On this picture, we have some people who are holding up signs. So let me get my camera. We have some signs here. We're going to look at the one with the red at the top. Let's look at this sign. It says, we demand voting rights now. So these people want, they don't want, they're demanding voting rights. What if instead of demand, it said, we ask for voting rights now. Does that make it sound different? If it said we ask for voting rights instead of we demand voting rights now? Yeah, it makes it sound not as strong. And when someone asks for something, the other person can reply with yes or no. But if someone demands something, they're saying it must happen. So the word demand has a very strong meaning. So here are the words we're going to look at today. Read them with me. Order, command, demand, ask, force, tell, request. Now we might not know what all of these words mean, but we do know some of them. So we have a chart here to help us with some of the words that we might not know. When you order something to happen, it is a command that some, someone do something. They're telling you to do something. They're ordering you to do something. Command means to give an order in a forceful way. I command you to do this. Demand is to ask for something powerfully. I demand you do this now. Force is to make someone do something against their will. So they might not want to do it, but you force them to. Request is to politely ask for something. Now you probably notice that the definitions and these words, these definitions have some of these words in them. Like the definition of order has the word command in it. The defin or the word command has the word order in it. That's why these words are all related. So we're talking about how they're related today. Now in another deep dive, I think we've done this twice, <clears throat> we had a line and some words that you had to cut out and put on the line in order. So today we're gonna do the same thing only with these words. We're going to put them in order of weakest to strongest. And there's not just one right answer you might disagree with some of the, the order that I put these in. I haven't put them in an order yet, but you can put them in what or, whatever order you think makes the most sense as long as you can explain why you put each one where you put them. So you don't have a page in your workbook today, so we're going to open up our notebook to the response section. And we're gonna start by drawing a line. I'm going to draw a line and then I'm going to put two arrows on the ends. Because there are other words we can use that are weaker and stronger. So I'm going to write weakest. And then to the right will be our strongest words. Oops, I ran out of room. I'm going to rewrite that. <coughs> so 
So let's take a look at our words again. I'm actually going to bring these words down so that I have them to look at. Oops, let's try that again. Delete that. I just want these. Come on. Okay. So I'll put these words down here. So we have them. <clears throat> so looking at these words, which one do you think would be the weakest? Maybe to ask? I might say ask is the weakest. What would come next? Now one of our words was to politely ask for something. That is request. I'm going to put request next. These are still very polite ways of asking for something or getting something that we want. What would go next? Maybe tell? I think I would put tell next. Tell someone to do something. Now I think force and demand are very strong. So I'm thinking these two will go somewhere on this side. That leaves me with order and command. I think I would say order and then command. Command seems stronger. Then I have demand and force. Demand is still telling someone to do something, so I think that would go next. And force just really seems like a strong word because someone might not want to do that, but if you're forcing them to do that, it's against their will. So again, these words are all related, but some of them are weaker than others. So you decide, does this order look good to you? Or are there some words that you would switch around? So in your notebook, your job is to write these words in order from weakest to strongest. And if you did that, you are done with the deep dive today.